My name is Agung. Uh, I'm work for AMAC in Vancouver office. It's a little bit traumatic for me actually to give a speech or a presentation to many people like this, as I had not really good experience before. One time I, I, I presented something in a conference and all of the audience just left the room. <laughs> it's like, oh. But fortunately there was one of them who stayed there in my presentation until the end of it. Uh, so after presentation I asked him, hey, everybody just left the room and you're still here. Uh, why is that? Are you interested in my presentation? And he said, no. Then why? And he said, because I'm the next speaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? I like that joke. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's good to be here on the seminar. Uh, if you read the uh, seminar browser, uh, there were some comments or feedbacks from, from, from last year attendees, and one of them is from my friend Ron Perrin. He said he volunteered to give presentation just to ensure that, that uh, he could come to the, uh, to the seminar. And he's here again this year, so it proves that the seminar is really beneficial, uh, really good for him. And of course, for all of us. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I, I, wanted to, I had to write something, and I could write something about our client's project, but it would not be straightforward. So something came out in my mind is about MS Holitz, because it was, we, we use MS Holitz in uh, some of our projects, and it's really helpful, really simple. And I asked my colleagues, uh, Ramon Mendoza, and he, I, I, should, I should give him uh, uh, credit because he's not mind side user, but he agreed to use MS Holitz as, as a tool to, 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 to build the, uh, to calculate the uh, cycle time. So, and Minta accepted it. So, there we go. Uh, MS Holitz as a tool to build auditable Holitz requirement estimates for mining studies. So this is, will be the agenda for the outline of the presentation, uh, introduction, importance of holdings, and steps that I would like to share with you, uh, the way we use MS Holitz, and then after that, uh, conclusion and recommendation. We, we, we all know that mining is basically moving the rocks, right? Uh, moving material from one point to another, from location here, location there, and we, 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 we cannot, uh, process our available material without moving it. And, and, and we, we use equipment to, to move that material. So uh, it's, it's really important when we use truck and shovel as our uh, as equipment for our mine. It's really important because often in, 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 in our studies, all its cost is more than 40% of total operating cost, which is, I mean, this is total mine, mining operating cost and the travel time is the major component of it. In the real operation, you, we, we may be able to deal with this kind of, uh, when we talk about loading equipment with shovels, we may be able to deal with really narrow cuts, you know, uh, like dig 180 degree trucks behind us. So we may be able to do that even though it's not productive. And sometimes we drop cut here or there, it's not productive, but we know because we, we, we just want to keep the target, uh, we keep our promise to the public, for example. You know that. But when it comes to holdings, we may be able to train our operator to reduce the spot time, uh, to reduce the load time. It comes with the operation strategy. Uh, and maybe we train our dispatcher to reduce the queue time. But when it comes to, to speed, we there are some limits there. We, 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 we can fix our holder to make sure that the truck is going smoothly, uh, but there are some limits there. We, we cannot make it the speed double. So it's really important for us in mind planning perspective, calculating the cycle time is, is as accurate as possible. It's really important for the operation. There are some uh, methods to calculate the travel time by mining blocks, by mining blocks and polyline, and by polyline. Uh, by mining blocks, we basically we measure uh, mining block here and, 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 and measure the horizontal distance to the, to the RAM. We coded that as RAM, as well as from on the dumping area, we coded this as RAM and then to the dumping location there. And all from, from point A here, Z or Z, uh, Z A, Z B, uh, location A to location B, we may be able to use some kind of formula or, or, or EFH or 
kind of uh, formulas to, to represent the distance of, of those two points. That's, we, we, we just use block to calculate the travel time. Another method <coughs> will be by mining block and poly line, which is instead of uh, Z, A, Z, B, Z, E, Z, B, uh, we basically just use poly line to measure the, 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 the travel times. But when, when we use polyline, when we use by blocks, there are some miscalculation in, 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 in a, for example, one blocks here, or we, it should be goes all the way to here on the working bench if this is the RAM. But if we just use uh, the distance from that block directly to the RAM, it, it won't be accurate. So since the travel times calculation in mining studies in, are done in, in long term perspective, uh, long term planning, so, Basically, by using polyline is, is should be enough, and uh, but we have an and centroid by bands is also uh, is, is quite uh, uh, is, is good enough, but we have to check it manually every bands because if we just use center of the mass like this shape, it won't be on the working bands. It will be here if we just use automatic uh, center of the mass. Uh, so we have to see where is the room loca RAM location. We cannot just use A. Maybe B is a more more realistic for, for, for this kind of situation. So just a sketch, but basically we use polyline to calculate the, the, the travel times. And before we use MS Hall, it's uh, we have to define this input on exit bit area first. And then after that, we have to develop some kind of standard so that we understand where is it. And for, for node code, for example, we just use T for tie node, D for dumping node, L for loading node, or CRS for crosser, all this kind of stuff, uh, all this kind of uh, stuff. Uh, line code R for RAM, S for switch spec, tref B, travel time on the working bands, for example. So first, we haven't really started the MS OLED, we just use uh, uh, just normal geometry object, determine the exit bit point here, just make a fake bit, and then we, we can activate attribute on create button. So just use T, uh, there's uh, yeah, index, and then just click, 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 click. That's only T, we don't have to type anything there. And do the same thing with the uh, lines. Just make the line, make sure that the line is in 3D and snap to that, to that point. And uh, I don't want to use dash for, for loading or, or dumb destination code. Just use T01 instead of T-01 or, or something like that. Because it will be helpful for, for in, in the later states when we try to code try to calculate the, 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 the coordinates. And we do the same thing for the it bit uh, portion. We may be able to uh, code the acceleration segment, uh, but we, may be, we, we will be also able to do it in data processing if you want to code the acceleration from, from the loading point. So this is ready for MS solids. We have, we have the uh, polylines there ready for MS solids. And we, we, we have to uh, install in our computer SQL Server 2008, just install that. And then uh, we, we, we open utilities, MSPD manager, connection, and then connect, click OK. Uh, so it means, OK, we are good to go. And we, we, we make a mind planning database, create, create the database name, apply, OK, make ODBC data source, and then just apply OK, and then uh, check, uh, in, uh, make connect to MSPD, and then check the MSPD connection, and it works good. So we, we start open MS Holids. Open MS Holids, put the file names there, and period and phases. This is not critical because what we want is basically just to use MS Holids for calculator, basically just used to calculate the cycle time, the travel times. Uh, so just use one phase, one period, whatever it is, it's not so critical. And then prepare location, location, select nodes, click that, and basically we go to the screen and then just select everything. You don't have to pick one by one, just select everything. And this is, this is, it will be come up like something like this. Then you will see here, you'll notice that it's all tie node. So we, we need to change that instead of tie node will be dump, dumping destination, but we don't have to do it one by one. Just select, just control select everything, right click, will change, 
click here, change to destination, and then here we go, change to destination, and then we, 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 we could also uh, put some proximity distance at the end of the dumping point so that we model that the truck going slower when, when the truck is uh, closer to the dumping point. And prepare the roads, click that, just select everything, and it just automatically uh, 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 there. And we can also change the maximum speed of that segment. Then we prepare the equipment set. Uh, I don't put here because it's all specific. We put some speed uh, table there. We can put a uh, fuel bin there just uh, as, as, as our, our input. And then check the connections, everything good to go. And then just create the travel time. Then, then we can see all the data, cycle, travel time, um, uh, and then and fuel consumption, all those kind of things. We can also change the maximum speed at switch specs because we want to model that on every switch spec the truck will go slower. Uh, we just change the best on the code. Okay, that's S. Just click that and then put some uh, maximum speed over there. The way we put that we can we can just run sensitivity runs uh, if we want to code like okay if every switch spec let's say uh, it will be 15 seconds longer or something like that. We then then we can determine what will be the maximum speed on that segment. So we can also generate whole profiles for all of those uh, polyline, and then it will go to one folder, and then we have we have all the files there, and we can put some simple text file merging tool, and then this is the shape will be the the text file. Then after that we can uh, play around with, with our own way to do it. We can use VBA, uh, we can use uh, Python, maybe we can get some help from Kevin. So. And then, and if the, uh, this, we have coordinate X, Y, Z. We have starting point and end points, but we don't have what, what, where, what is it? I mean, it is, is, is this, is this only X, Y, Z? Uh, it would be great if we can get something here, the attribute of that line. But there is a way to do it. We can export that polyline into SRG and then just match that coordinates into the, the, the uh, attribute here. And after that, we can just play around with that data. The reason why sometimes we need this is that because we, we, we have something like financial model so that we can, uh, we don't have to going back and forth in member solids and change the run. Uh, we can just put in our financial model to know the impact of uh, changing the speed, what would be the impact in operating cost, for example, because we have raw data, we can do whatever we want. And that's, uh, the conclusion is really helpful. Uh, and it's auditable, like uh, anybody can check it and see it, and uh, we can see it, okay, this, this, is, this, is, this is the whole profile, and that's why the cycle time is there. And can be used for reconciliation later when, when, when in, the, in the real operation or for the states of the project. One thing would be if we can solve the, the horseshoe shape or donut shape automatically, in the, like instead of just cross like this, we may be able to it will be some uh, programming or developer is, uh, helps if we can solve the issue, that would be great. So, there it is. Thank you, sir.